through. <coughs>
Okay, so we, we had this, and he didn't do the whole, you know, he just did the cash watershed. We didn't have to do all of Southern Illinois, so here's the cash coming down. And then we, we had a meeting, and we gave people six months to create. We, we, worked, we didn't want to photograph. We wanted this to be either watercolor or color pencil. So they all started drawing and sketching the organisms that they knew were associated with the Cache River ecosystem. <coughs> And then here's the final product. And they've got, this is Mr. Bell's printing. You can see what, what a precision. And this would be, these are his words. And then each of these people, here's all the contributors around the edges here to this project. And everybody, uh, we have 15 or 16 people actually contribute to this process. And Imaquan is kind of nice because it's oblong, you know. Some, some of the areas were really long and like, like Lost Mound wouldn't lend itself to this because it was seven miles wide or it was uh, uh, half a mile wide and 13 miles long. So it was kind of like a mural kind of thing. But I think Imaquan would, and there it is, hanging up on the wall. Okay, hit the lights up please. I'll, I'll show you some of the... Here's the, the, the second step. This is this is what they came up with for a design, you know. And we thought, well, that's fine, except it's not quite finished. So we did that one, and then I'll put these up too. Here's a couple of those panels that I showed you, a, a small version, so you can see you can see some of the image, same images on the on the map. So the images on the map were they actually drawn? No, we did we, we, we did the design work in, in, in a computer simply because we had to send it to the printer as, as a as a um, illustrator file. So you simply we scanned them and did all that. So we did all of that stuff. They, they, but they, they did all the, you know, the original artwork and, and gave us the idea of what it was. And we, we finished up the original. Uh, and it was surprisingly cheap to produce. The the, the, the huge map which came rolled up in vinyl, and when it was blown up that big was, was really detailed. It cost us uh, $890 to have it printed. And it went to Minnesota. It, I, it's the biggest UPS package I've ever gotten. <laughs> it's 13 feet and two by two feet. It came with mail, you know. And we went out and put a couple of curtain rods in it and hung it up. So, okay. Uh, is that something you're I hope that's something you're interested in because it's a very, <coughs> very cool object. Okay, for the for the next uh, group of things we're gonna we're gonna do, you need to get you need to have your pencil out. Lending tool, a piece of drawing paper, which soon is passing out. So we're actually going to do, we're actually going to do some stuff. Today.
see it's not a trivial matter to Yeah. We printed, I think, 3,000 of them. They just get them out and just get one. But it's something that people can take away from it, away with it. I'll put those in the bag. We'll put these in the bag for you to pick up. Like I said, the good news about Emmerquan is pretty flat other than the levee. Although it's not flat, you can go out with little water yeah. dogs, but it's not flat. The other thing is, you remember I asked you to, to make a poster. I hope all of you took a, took a, a wild attempt at it. I've seen a few of the, of the posters, and they're very nice. Did you all try that? Okay. Uh, Sue and I, Sue and I did, the, did the activity also. As I told her told you last, last time, we're doing a project. We're trying to see as many species of butterflies in Illinois as we can. And right now, we're at 54. And we thought we would, uh, I would go ahead and make a poster on that to show you how to do it. So here's our here's our poster called 50 Illinois Butterflies that we put this in the back too to show you all the species that we've done. So what, what what's interesting about this is it's, it's a finite project. You know, it's just seeing and then you put it together in, in, in some some form. What's interesting about this is 80 about 82% of the butterflies were found within 20 miles of this building. Most of them in Mason County. Okay, so, so this is a very rich area for doing uh, these sorts of things. We're hoping to get 60, but uh, who knows? Okay. So there's your challenge. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, we're gonna. I'm, we're gonna we're going to go through some, some drawing activities. And I only have a couple of quotes here. It says, I have learned that what I have not drawn, I have never really seen. And that when I start drawing an ordinary thing, I realize how extraordinary it is. Sheer miracle. And that was Frederick Frank, the Zen of Seeing. And, and you know this, when you start drawing something, you really have to look at it. Right? Otherwise, what you're drawing doesn't look like what, you, what you're looking at. Drawing even the little things helps to focus the mind and calm the spirit. Right? You feel that? Or you get stressed out. You know? There's always something to be drawn. We know that. I think that's, that's it. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through some some techniques, and I want you to actually do them as we're going. You don't have to, you can leave the lights off. I think you'll be able to see this just fine. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is the eraser. As a drawing tool, okay? The eraser as a drawing tool. Have you ever thought about your eraser as a drawing tool? Well, Here's what you do. You simply take your piece of drawing paper, use the side of your pencil, and make a you can draw a box. Yeah, anything will do. So, uh, you simply make it in your Thank you. 
get out, your eraser. Remember the, the cookie eraser we gave you? Or you can use your ink eraser, or you can use your kneaded eraser, any of those. But the, the cookie eraser works best. We did give them. We did give them a clicky eraser, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's got a dark smudge. Okay, you can. I don't know. Make sure you don't have nine. You probably don't need to do this, but you can. You can actually sharpen. The reason we gave you a clicky eraser is you can sharpen it so that you can get a fine line. No, you don't. Oh, there is a nine. Oh, okay. Well, here's the knife. If anybody wants to, here's the knife you use, exacto knife. Or you can simply rub it, you know.